Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back to Let's Play Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning on the PC. Last time, we uh, finally made our way into Dalantarth, or not Dalantarth, uh, Glendara here, after talking to, uh, well, the hot elf chick, and then uh, the guy who keeps the records or something up there, and the guy said, you know what, I don't believe you, because change is bad, and now we gotta go talk to somebody around here. But first, we got the whole area of Glendara to explore. So we uh, we uh, turned in the quest for the uh, daggers by... Um, we went ahead and just killed uh, the the guy who actually gave us the quest, because, eh, why not? I mean, it didn't really make a difference either way. So, that's done. So we just got to explore the rest of Glendara now. Uh, let's see, we got plenty of stuff to do in here, I think. Let's see. Um, is that? Yeah, that's all Glendara right there. Alright, so plenty of brownies and bar guests and jump points and Dyden Hill. More treasures and more books. Okay. Alright, what is up here? There is a well cache and a sage crafter. You know, let's go up there real fast just to see what's up there. And let's, uh. Oh, you're not a wolf. I thought you were a wolf for a second. Or not. Okay. Fine. Run away. Why you have scales instead of the uh, hair that I was expecting, I'm not entirely sure, but that's up to you, I guess. Hello. Um, yeah, let's save. Cause I think I can get rid of the... Um, effects that this one will give me, but... If it tries to give me something, uh... Curse of Weakness, can I get rid of that? Uh, let's see, status, effects... It's a magical curse, so I can't get rid of that, damn it. What's the point of these damn purification po potions if I can't get rid of the uh, magical curses? Oh well. And I'm at max inventory limit anyways. Okay, I didn't realize I was at max inventory. Uh, let's fix that up real fast, I guess. I thought I had less max inventory. Hey, let's go back to the uh, the great so the, the long sword. It just works out better in my opinion. The, the great sword is fun, but I just prefer the combos for the great for the uh, long sword, I guess. Alrighty, let's go to... Is she in bed? Yeah, I think she might be in bed. Yeah, because it's one in the morning, okay. Too bad, you're in bed, I'm here. We've still a lot now, what is it? Alright, let's get rid of... We got a lot of stuff in here, don't we? There we go. That's a little better. Um, what I can do for you. Beware the forest. I guess we could try to disenchant some of this stuff, or not. Hey, just uh, dismantle, I guess. There you go. All right, salvage. Uh, you're finesse, so goodbye. Uh, leather gloves. You're finesse again. They're not even good finesse. They're just finesse. See, Daggers of Sunset, you're very weak. Alright, Powering Curus, still weak. Helm of the Hail, alright, goodbye. Yeah, all this is just kind of weak. Azerite Plum, ooh, that's nice damage. Chakrams of skill, let's keep that, I guess. Uh, all right, let's see if we can't make anything real fast. Let's Just for the heck of it. Let's see. Um, what is that thing at the end they're talking about there? Oh, the gems, okay. Yeah, we don't have anything to make a better longbow yet, even. 
Um, let's see if we can't make a better long, better long uh, sword here. Let's see, charge tilt, no, flame tilt, no. Actually, flame tilt is pretty nice, actually. 45 health, that's pretty good. I'm not actually going to probably make this because it's not coming out too great, but fire damage, that's nice. Yeah, it's okay, but it's nothing great. Let's see, as for steel chest plate, okay, what do we got? What do we got equipped for our chest plate, actually? Anyways, we got the 3% physical damage and 10% armor. Okay. Oh, wait. Not the shield. The uh, cure. There we go. Alright. 3% the... That's health. Uh, let's see, piercing damage, piercing damage. Yeah, most of this would just be health bonuses, right? Yeah. It's got good. It's got really good armor. It's just uh, only so-so on the on the uh, bonuses and stuff. See, fine steel helm. That's gonna be good for a little bit. Uh, that's actually not that much worse than what we got. Uh, fine steel gauntlets. That's fine, I guess. Yeah, it will be good for a while. Let's see. Our inventory is back to acceptable levels. Um, that reminds me. What about this? Yeah, I might want to get rid of some of these uh, random purple swords because, or purple stuff because some of it I'm just never gonna use. Where'd you go? You are sleeping out here for some reason, even though you have your own room. I, I but you've saved us. Uh, let's see. You were the you're the scepter. Uh, Twenty five lightning. Yeah, you're the scepter, not the not the. Uh, you're not the staff. So okay, you you can go. Uh, Fortune is... That's the Claymore. That one's pretty good. China Shadow. Uh, they're okay, actually. Totem of the Wild. That one's pretty good. Shark's Fins are okay. Frostbite. Uh, what is that? The... What is that? A Longsword? 38 physical. 15 health. Let's see. What does this Fortune have? Yeah, we can get rid of uh, Frostbite, I guess. And yeah, probably Frostblade, too. Yeah, let's get rid of both of these. Don't need those too much. Uh, Tempest, that is... What is that? Oh, you're the staff. Okay. Uh, Apprentice, you are also something that I don't care about because you're the scepter, right? Yeah, you're the scepter, so goodbye. Um, Lirius Cal. Yeah, I'm never going to use this, so goodbye again. All right, we should be good. Phyllis and I, I thank you for that. Widows, All right, now let's go back to uh, Glendara. Yeah, some of that stuff I'm just never going to use, so I might as well just get rid of it. And you can't seem to disenchant it for some reason. Like, you can disenchant, like, the, uh, the, the blue stuff, but not the purple stuff for whatever reason. Oh, well. All right, now let's go up here. Let's see, I see some little dudes down there, but I'm not going to bother them. Uh, let's see, where are they? They're... Oh, wolves? Yeah, fuck you guys. Actually, you know what? Just because you are wolves. There you go, get this guy out. There you go, take that. And you... Good night. Oh, it kind of kind of honed in on him. That was nice. I wasn't expecting that. You know, I was just helping your boss out, like, 
Not too long ago, so don't get don't get too uppity there, pal. There. Well, I liked how that uh home didn't on him. I, I didn't think it would do that. And another treasure chest for us, so we have to disenchant or suffer the wrath. Easy? Sure, why not? There we go. Ooh, Sylvan Order. Finding a better longbow. Nice. You know what? Let's go ahead and pop that on for the, uh, for a secondary for a little bit. Why not? We haven't used a, um, the bow for forever. There we go. And we got four whole arrows. Nice. Heck, fortunately it doesn't combo, and then if you use it too fast, you gotta wait for it to, uh, regenerate, but that's not too bad. Let's see, I think if you just use it, uh, and then wait, it'll regenerate a little faster, right? That's how most games work. Yeah, there we go. Much better. Um, didn't I already open you? I thought I opened this thing. Oh, yeah, I didn't open it because I remembered I didn't have any inventory space. Okay. All right, let's try this again. Nice, nice. All that for a minor, fr you son of a bitch. All that for one minor frost guard? Yeah, thanks, guy. I appreciate that. All right, there's um, rocks up here, though, so that's always nice. I don't know why the rocks always give such good stuff, but I'll take it. And there we go. Oh, or the well could have it, too, I guess. Ooh, nice. Prismere lockpicks, coins, and a sagecraft skill book. Nice. I will take all of that, and I will use that uh, Sagecraft skill book right away, actually. If I can... There we go. Permanently increased, and I think I can just uh, sell the book now. Either sell it or just get rid of it some other way. There you go. That was nice. See? These random treasure chests are totally worth it, apparently. If you find uh, stuff like that in there. Shit. It's really nice. And we're finally getting a decent collection of these Prismira lockpicks. That's also nice, too. Ooh, lots of flowers. I like that. And we only missed a couple of the regents. I'm not sure what that did, but okay. Alright, Hadwin's mission. Do we gotta do anything in here? Oh, there's a quest. That works too. Come for our sage crafting. I can help with that. Anything else? Speak with Gamian or Udo. Let's see. Tell me about sage crafting. Gamian says it best, but in the art of working gems is all the glory of Matharu. Okay, if you say so. We have quiet, order, and a sage crafter's bench. What more could I desire? But he's very concerned with Fallon's absence just now. He would do well to work a shard. I never understood it myself, but he found solace in plants and people. Things I see no order or structure in at all. So that guy sounds kind of like an alchemist a little bit. We are kindred spirits. We see Mitharu in gems. We seek holiness in refining them. All right, let me see. Um, what what is the gem I have in there? Ten armor, and then I have oh, I can either keep the I can either keep the item or I can keep the gem. Okay, I'll worry about that when I get better stuff. I guess then I thought you could just take it out. Okay. That makes sense. Or not really makes sense, but uh that's one way to uh That's one way to um force you to choose, I guess. Alright, you guys are still watching me, aren't you? Yeah, you guys are all watching. Dang it. I was trying to loot your stuff. I'll talk to you in a minute. No. I don't think they have anything good in these bookshelves anyways. 
How about you? What brings you to our humble mission? You have heard of our remarkable shards and gems, perhaps. Are you a follower of Mitharu, here to worship? Uh, I'm kind of a follower of Mitharu. Ah, a follower of the great order of the world. You are, of course, welcome to our humble mission and all of Mitharu's homes. All right. It is a beautiful lesson in the ways of Mitharu. Each gem carries within it his influence. Untouched, you can see the light of peace working in a perfect symphony. A shard is but one raw image of this perfection, refined by our imperfect hands. You guys take your work rather seriously here. Behold our unassuming mission, pure and simple as the very first waters. Brother Ansel and I devote our hours to shards and gems, while the others tend garden and shrine. All of us prey upon our beads. He's not quite my equal in sage crafting, but his knowledge of herbs and medicines is unmatched. So yeah, he's a alchemist then, okay. He is a man of few words, but he is gifted at the sage crafter's table. Can I uh I was trying to kill those pots for some stuff, but I guess not. Alright, where'd he go? There you are. You. A visitor. How wonderful. No, not you. By Matharu, I am growing worried for Brother Felon. The day is come and gone, and he still has not returned. I swear it, he has the heart of Hadwin himself. A remarkable mind for herbs and medicines as well. A goodly sort of village. So it does not have the tranquility of Dighton Hill. Wait, is he going to be in Gorhart? Or is that just the option for speech? Why, the great god of order, who makes the seasons to turn, life to rise from the ground, and death return to it. We have devoted our lives to this service. It may not have the luminous pomp of St. Odwig's, but then St. Hadwin was a modest apostle of Mitharu. Our worship centers on our prayer beads and the practice of cutting and clarifying shards through sage crafting. To Dighton Hill Village, where they are suffering under the blood plague. He was delivering medicines badly needed there. But the trip isn't long. It's been more than a day since he left. Yeah, I'm on my way over there anyway, so sure, why not? That would be so very good of you. Mitharu is generous as he is just. There will be something for you in it, if you do. He won't have gone farther than Dighton Hill, that I assure you. If he is not there, then he is already on the road home. As I said, if the worst has befallen him, please, bring his prayer beads here. So I'm guessing I'm going to be bringing his prayer beads. Thanks, okay. But he is over in Dighton Hill, which I think is not too far. I think it's like right over here, actually, right? Alright, so we're done in here, I think. I don't think you guys even have a uh, second floor, do you? Don't tell me you guys all sleep. No? I was about to say, there's only one bed here, so maybe only one of you actually sleeps here and the others go somewhere else? I don't know. Okay, so... Alright. Where else are we going to go to then? We got a few other places to try. Let's see. Let's go for... Uh, let's see. Archers. Treasures. Hunter's Pit. Um, Nero Limb. What is this? The Ropus. Yeah, we got to go to Dighton Hill at some point. So I guess we should head down there. Can I fast travel here? Yeah, let's try let's tra fast travel to uh, Ironhold Passage, and then we can uh, work our way from there. There we go. Let's see. There are graves, for some reason. Beneath lie the remains of Hotrin Call to the beloved father and village elder. May Vithar will grant him rest and peace in keeping with the authority's order. 1426. Is that the year? I think so. Yeah, it's probably the year.
Ooh, there we go. And a dive point. Um, I don't see any ripples in the water, so I think I'm going to ignore that for the time being. We could always come back here, though. Alright, let's go get Brother Till's books, though, because those are right there. And we can take care of the, uh, well, whoever's on the road right there. Ah, those guys. Eh, the bow is not that good, apparently. I thought it was better. Maybe uh, it was just good in the starting dungeon, but it doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot here. The fact that you can only shoot five times doesn't really help. Then again, you do get more arrows from the finesse tree. Oh, well. Alright, let's grab this. And... Alright, Father Till's books. I hope it doesn't stay mad at me for too long. And you? Yeah, you. There you go. Alright, Father Till's books are probably in here. No? Or they could be upstairs. I'll talk to you later, lady. Ember eyes, I don't really care. Ah, here we go. I heard that they only take up one spot in your inventory, so let's check. Oh, we had 61, and now we have 61. Okay, so they only take up one spot in your inventory, which is nice. Um, let's see what we got in the footlocker here. Probably nothing of useful. Revitalizing hood. Yeah. No one's going to know that I took it, so whatever. I'm not going to steal everything from this old lady's house. I just want the uh, perverts books back. Are you even old, or you just have... Yeah, you're old, okay. Welcome. I am Luminitsa. Is it for fate weaving that you have come to my lonely side of the lake? Okay, maybe you're not that old. You just have really white hair. Yes, the old Kurz and Dyden Hill. Came by for a drink last night. Caught up in old times. Sadly, I have not been welcome across the lake for a long time. When I first arrived here, I gave fortunes to several villagers. Their fates were... not happy ones. Of course, until I drew their cards, I had no idea. They blamed me and cut off ties. Yeah, shoot the... Uh... Shoot the messenger instead of the message. Uh, people aren't very happy when you give them the bad news, I guess. It's not witchcraft like the townsfolk believe. It's simply reading the threads of fate, and some people can't come to terms with it. Unlike most, I started when I was a mere slip of a girl. You see, my mother told fates, and I learned sitting on her knee. So you're going pretty early then, huh? Yeah, I don't need to unbind my destiny so right now. We're good. Uh, anything useful in your house, lady, at all? Like, in the slightest? No. No. You don't have any, like, uh, skill books I could steal or anything? No? Alright, well, we know where to go if you want another uh, fate weaving, I guess. But, I'm not too worried about it right now. Let's see. Maslow Tarek, whatever that... Oh, murderous hold. Okay, that's uh. Oh, I didn't realize that connected, or maybe I did and I just didn't pay attention. All right, uh, let's see. We got Camden, Ropus treasures. Brother Fallon will worry about you in a little bit. Uh, let's see. We are right here. I guess we can go into the lake now. See what we see what's in there. But let's make sure there's nothing uh good over here I guess maybe that's why there are so many flowers over by the uh, the um, sagecraft house because the 
brother Fallon dude planted him because, well, he's an alchemist. Didn't think about that. Well, then again, you couldn't think about it until you actually got into the house. Yeah, that's not doing a lot of damage, like, at all. I guess you could, like, try to, like, juggle them in the air, but still, it just doesn't seem to do a whole lot of damage. Alright, Tinder Twig. More doves. Plenty of plants, that's always nice. Even if there's not a whole lot else over here. Besides a treasure chest, I can use that, I guess. Not that there's going to be anything good in there, because usually there's not, for whatever reason. There we go. Ooh, not bad. Apprentice Longsword. Wow, that's weak. Okay. I'll take it, but that's pathetically sad, actually. And Theradon's Charge. That's the one that gives us critical hit, I think. Yeah. Oh well. They, they run out too fast to even be too much of a use. So I'm not too worried about it. And let's go check out the lake then get some more Muropis' treasures. And we still have a pretty good chunk of stuff to do here in Glendara. They all seem to be concentrated around the bottom half though. At least for the time being. Let's see, where else can I go here? Um, anywhere else before I jump in the lake. We could go to the town, actually. That'd be something to do. I'll probably save that for when we have plenty of time. Um, is that my storyline, dude? I think it is. No, it's not. Okay. It's just some random dude. What, just what do you think you're doing poking around this jail? Stuff. It's always one thing or another. Boggarts, bandits, weather... But we're not frail people. We get through it. The Boggarts caused it, sure. But what caused the Boggarts? That witch, Luminitsa. That's what I think. All she does is tell you what's going to happen. She doesn't actually make it happen, dude. Trust me. We've got enough troubles with the Blood Plague and all that. We don't go tossing people in there unless we've got to. The damned Fate Weaver. She lives right over there, on this cursed side of the lake. I'm the jailer. What do I look like? Not very helpful, that's for one. Uh, okay, that's a bear sleeping over there. I wasn't sure what he was doing for a minute there, but oh well. Let's see, can I sneak up on him? I could try, but probably wouldn't work out too fantastically. Let's get right up on his asshole here, and... There you go. Nice. As the tree roots into the earth, the tendrils of thoughts twist to the soul. As the fire renews the field, the birthing labors produce the foal. As the mantis climbs to his mate, the heart outstretched to her fair hand. As the hunter kills its prey, beside this hill he crafts from sand. Alright. Uh, oh, we can't get up there. Okay. I just realized, there is, I don't think there's fishing in this game. Or if there is, I forgot about it. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Way out there. Oh, or that could be something too right there. That's not going to be the treasures of Meropis, but it'll be something. Linen robes. Yeah. Some of these lakes seem to have a lot of stuff to find. Some of them do not. Ah, there we go. Bag of sand. I'm assuming that's just a reflection. Or they could be big fishes. Okay, that works too. They're, they're like a koi or, or koi or whatever. How you pronounce those damn things? I don't know. The koi fish. There you go. Let's see. Jump point. I'm saying jumping out of the river, but I'm assuming that's jumping into the river. 
Maybe they maybe all the jump points point the uh, same way, do they? I don't know. Let's see, is there anything else over here? Actually we're like right next to this dude, so uh Alright yeah, let's go over there. Thaddeus. Yes, you I'll kill you all if I have to. Damn buggers. <laughs> you don't sound too well. Uh, give me a moment. Suddenly, very dizzy. They're out in droves. I don't know why, but Kester might. He returned from a scouting mission not long ago. Dyden Hills Warden. That means he sees to things, keeps us safe and the like. Was he the guy I met up there on the uh, other side of the, the river? It's the blood plague. <coughs> the bargains carry it. Nearly all of the village has been infected. Most don't die from it. But it can weaken a man fiercely. Without a cure, the village won't last much longer. Well, I have uh, purification potions that might work on it. Dyden Hill is a haven for those traveling from Gorehart to Gallifor. But now, nah, nowhere is safe. From Gorehart to where? Late. Hang on. I'm coming back to talk to you. Don't worry, dude. Uh, oh, maybe, maybe Gallifor is around here somewhere. I don't know. Anyways, let's uh, continue our conversation. <laughs> Aside from the boggarts and blood plague... <coughs> You should turn around and go. <coughs> go somewhere safe. This is no place for visitors right now. Dude, you sound like you're about to die. Kester Barclay would know far better than me. He's in the town square. Go and ask him yourself. <coughs> Kester's right in the town square. <coughs> Talk to him. All right. To you later. I'll go there eventually then. Um, so it's not the guy that was over here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is all going to be town. Blacksmith. Sagecraft. Blacksmith. Merchant. Merchant. I wonder if there's any trainers here. No? Oh, well. You guys have a healer. Why don't you just have her heal all your uh, sicknesses then again it should probably charge you out the ass for it so that probably uh that's probably why right, let's grab a few of these guys and let's see if we can't find a lab into a uh, brother uh, Fallon on the way because he's pretty nearby on the uh, map it seems like it's not too far away I don't think uh, let's see let's discover this we, no we've already been here haven't we yeah we've already been here um, oh yeah, this is the way we came. Alright, so let's make a mad dash for Brother Fallon, and that should wrap it up pretty nicely. Let's see, Brother Fallon is straight ahead. Alright. By the way, did I, uh... I think I discovered it. Yeah, I'm gonna assume I discovered it. If not, oh well. And yeah, the bow kind of sucks. So back to something else, I guess. Let's go for. Let's go for a hammer. Why not? Hey, or that's no, that's not a hammer. Uh, we don't have a good hammer. Oh well. Uh, Shilog it is then, I guess. Anything in the river that I care about? No. And I've already talked to that thing, I think. Do I really care about this flower over here? A little bit. And this guy. Right, come here, you.
Alright, where is... To the left, okay. Wait, why is he red? Oh, because he probably got killed by that guy, that's probably why. Stop trying to activate fate, dude. Just cast your spell. Hey, you. These little fuckers. Okay, you're, you're gonna attack me, the human, or you're not gonna attack the, the bandit human. What's up with that, dude? Discrimination or what? Why would you guys attack me, but not anybody else, fuckers? What did I ever do? I mean, you'd think they'd be discriminated against all two-legged people dudes, but apparently not. Apparently I'm the only one they care to kill. Fuckers. Yeah, I figured we'd be bringing his beads back. Yeah, I don't want really to equip those, I just want to take them. Yeah, I think we have enough time to go return them real fast. Why not? Um... Anything else over here that I care about at the moment? No? Let's see. There's a shrine. Yeah, let's just uh, head over here then. Turn in his beads. And they're probably going to go tell us to uh, kill the uh, bastards that did it or something. I don't know. So Brother Felon is dead upon the road. And with Mithadu now. Thank you for returning his beads. You should know. We have a tradition. Rather than bury prayer beads, they are passed on to some other believer. Tell me, do you adhere to Mathado's creed? Wait, why would lying? To honor and uphold the forces of order and good. Our religious mission is to see chaos and suffering laid low beneath Mitharu's hammer. Well, I'm not going to try to, uh, You have acted too bad. Well and honorably thus far. It would be wrong of me to distrust you now. Sure, why not? I knew I saw the good in your eyes. Eyes never do lie. Keep the beads and do as I tell you. At each mission, Odwigs, Edrix, and our own, there is a special shrine to Mitharu. Go you and pray at each one, and the power of Mitharu will grant your beads great and greater strength. We mourn our brother's loss, and yet in our sorrow we acknowledge that death is part of life's pattern. Yes, we have heard of the sad affliction that has struck Dyden Hill. Thus it is when nature strays from order. A lovely mission far to the south in the depths of the Shi. It's been many years since I've been there, I'm afraid. A much larger mission in Gorhart to the west. They are unmatched in venerable years of service. I like to think what we lack therein, we have in humility, in purity. Okay, so apparently these uh, these shrines aren't going to be too far away, so that'd be nice. The heart of the Feyland, some say. Fey magic is certainly at its thickest there. Ray the shrines of St. Edrix and Odwigs, and before this very mission, at each one you pray, the beads will be improved. 
If you say so. Alright. So here's the first shrine. And we know where the second one is. Did that do anything? Probably an accessory, right? Oh. Uh, or it might be a little further down. Ah, there we go. Yeah, just a little further down. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. They all, they all look the same. What can I say? Yeah, right, let's see. We got... Ooh, 5% damage versus this car. Okay, nice. So it's already got in a pretty decent little boost. Right, let me make sure I can fast travel here. Dang it, I already... Oh, eh, well. Whatever. All right, let's go to uh, Gorhart. Power it up there. And the next episode, we'll do some more stuff in uh, Glendara. All right, so let's see... There we go, right over there. Is that the one in the graveyard? Hello there. No, it is not. It is the one up here. And I wonder if that guy's still scared of me up there for killing his roommate. He may or may not care. I think that, I think after a few days, I st uh, like a few in-game days, I stopped caring. Yeah, you don't care anymore, do you? Please make yourself at home. I didn't think you did. All right, cool. I have two of your books, but you won't. I don't think you'd take them individually, because otherwise they'd probably say something we like, "Oh, you got some of my books, not all of them." And there's the second one. Nice. All right, and let's see. Ten percent damage versus Niskaru. So apparently they're just gonna be really good against uh, the Niskaru. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll finish up with a plus fifteen. But anyways, we managed to explore a pretty sizable chunk of Glendara here. Maybe not. Maybe not a lot, but enough. And uh, next time, we're going to continue on through Glendara and uh, see if we can't um, well, do some more of the questing there, like find that woman's husband, finally, that started like many, 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 many ages ago. Uh, try to cure the plague and some other stuff, too. So, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Have a good night.